Last week on the Hot 10, between all the comic book sales, over $50,000 traded publicly. This week, post San Diego Comic Con, over $120,000 worth of comics sold above the 12 month average or broke records. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Silver Age, Golden Age specialist to the show, the Golden Age guru. Oh, Hall H, it's great to have you back because this market is nuts. And I'm so excited to be here on the Hot 10 to discuss it because we have four new books that have never been on this list. That's right. The Hot 10 is filled with brand new books. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button. And Jeff, why don't you start them off with number 10? Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number 10. This classic Mike Zek cover that came out in 1985 is from an unbelievable story arc we all love. But it sold 23 times over the 12 month average this last week for a total of $3,700 in sales. Now, fun fact about this cover, the mask got washed out, and most people don't know that the real version has a lot more detail, and that was actually posted by Mike Zek as well. The 9-4 had four different copies outsell the 12-month average, the highest being for $100 for an increase of 45%. That's a year high. The 9-6, three copies outsold the recent 12-month average, the highest being $100 for an increase of 18%. And the 9.8, 11 copies sold this past week. The year high sale and the highest sale was for $295. But... Here's the proof that people be investing and specking on this issue. It's in that newsstand purchase because you don't just buy this book as a newsstand if you don't believe in this book, if you don't believe in rarity. Okay, this 9.8, so for $505, that's a year high sale, 34% above the 377 average. This book is on pace to being worth double than it was just a week ago at a 9.8. Do yourself a solid. Get access to the Hot 10 before we even hit the mic by going to Key Collector Comics, available for both Androids and iPhones. I use this app every single day. Our LCS owner uses this app every single day. He encourages his customers to use this app every single day, and you should too. Utilize code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription of the app. Let's get back to the list, because at the list at number nine, we have Uncanny X-Men 251, we got Wolverine on that X crucifix. Crucifix, Xfix, whatever Marvel Jesus would have called it. We had 17 sales above the 12 month average for a total of $3,500 in sales. This is a classic cover by Mark Silvestri from 1989. We know why it's on this list. We saw it in the flick. Deadpool, Wolverine. There's a handful of books that have been moving because of these quick moments seen on screen. And this isn't even a key book. It's just an iconic cover. Let's kick it off with a record high sale and a 9.6, which sold for $212, versus the average $77 sale before that with a 175% increase. And next time I say flick on this table, slap me across the face. But four copies in 9.6 outsold that average. The 9.8 is up 92% with a $350 sale. There were eight other copies that outsold the 12-month average as well. And then we have multiple record-breaking sales to add to this. The Newsy 8.5 sold for $75, up 50%. The 9.0 sold for $90, an increase of 29%. And the 9.4 sold for $150. Last sale in 2022 went for $61 for an increase of 146%. I chatted with Mark Silvestri over at San Diego Comic-Con. We have some content coming out with him pretty soon. And I had just seen the movie the day prior. So I mentioned, did you see Deadpool Wolverine yet? And he told me that he didn't even know they put this on the screen until that particular day of filming. So he was really excited to see this actually played out. And Something else to mention, this book landed on the trending list just last week, and there's only been two copies added to the census since then. I see a swarm of these coming. This census count is going to blow up. We're coming to number eight, an unbelievable Bronze Age key. I love this book. It's an absolute sleeper, if you ask me, because the price is way down for where it should be. But Amazing Spider-Man number 129 from 1974, first appearance of the Punisher and first appearance of the Jackal. I remember... Shout out John Hill, Hills of Comics. He was like, dude, I have a 9.6. I'll sell it to you for $1,000. I know that's expensive, but this is a book long term. And I turned it down. I have an 8 that I was pricing at San Diego Comic-Con to sell for $1,800. You know what I did? Huh. I said, hell no. I am not selling this book for $1,800. It's so stupidly cheap right now because just a couple hundred dollars is almost a full point. And you're just like, there's no way this book does not bounce back. This book had eight different sales outdo the recent 12-month average, and a total of $22,000 has traded hands virtually publicly. Let's jump into the numbers. 1.8 sold for $693, up 13%. That book used to be a $1,000 book easy at a 2.0. A 4.0 sold for $900, up 5%. And the 8.0 sold for $2,300. So yes, I'm glad I didn't price it for $1,800. 
and that's up 19% from the average of 1939. The 8.5 sold for $2,400, an increase of 7%. A 9.0 is up 12%. A year-high sale clocked in at $3,100. The 9.2 sold for $3,552, another year-high sale increase of 8%. And a 9.4 sold for $4,000. That's an increase of 2%. And the one to outsell them all was a 9.4 Mark Jewelers copy, which is always coveted. But this 9.4 went for $4,676. That's up 4% from the average. Since we chatted about this book last a short two months ago, there's been an increase of four copies added to the census at 9.8 alone. 9.6s had three new copies. 9.4 had 13 new copies. 9.2 had nine new copies. And 9.0 had 12 new copies. A total of 149 copies have been added to the census in a short eight weeks. To have four new 9.8s tells you how many books are being submitted. I mean, that is a lot. And again, we're celebrating 50 years of Punisher and 50 years of Wolverine simultaneously. And let's not also forget that Punisher's bazooka showed up in the movie. So that's just a little bit of a teaser of maybe things to come. Secret Wars is probably the most affordable Doom book on this list. Let's talk about the next one. And here we are back to Doom because at number seven, Marvel Superheroes number 20. Now you could have bought the cheapest Doom book on here, Secret Wars, but this is not one of those cheap books because nine copies sold for $4,000. Now listen, people love this book. It's iconic cover by Larry Lieber. I don't like this cover. There are so many great Doom covers to love ahead of this. This book came out in 1969. I get it. First appearance of Valeria. All right, Doom's love interest. When he was spitting Riz, all right? But now, this book is extremely coveted. And to see it in great is tough because it's a square bound book, notorious for spine splits. And this entire run sat in 50 cent bins for decades. So when you see it in high grade, it's a rare sight to see. So we're seeing those in the numbers that we're getting. And to be clear, because we have some new information we're putting in the hot 10, when you say $4,000 worth of money traded, we're talking about between all the sales, and there's a lot of them. The 3.5 is up 9%. The 4.5 is up 6%. The year high 5.0 clocked in a sale at 290. And the 6.0 can't even keep up. It's sold for $250, an increase of 4%. The 6.5 is up 12%. The 7.0 is up 18%. Then we have a 7.5 year high selling for $500, an increase of 26%. The 8.5 sold for $700, an increase of 20%. And that's another year high. Guru, hit them with the record-breaking sale. And this is what I just said, 9-2, high grade. Okay, last time there was Doom Spec in 2021, this book sold for a high of $1,035. It is now up 16% for $1,200. First time in comic history being made here, comic fam. I always thought this was a cool cover, but now that I look at it closer and I consider all the other Doom books to think about, I don't know, you may be right. I always like the space, a little Kirby Crackle vibe in the background. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this cover is a little overhyped? While we move on to number six on the list with Hulk number one from 2008. First appearance of the Red Hulk on the cover. Right, Tom, because 22 <laughs> sales of this book occurred for a total of $5,100. Now, listen, this is a modern key, and I think it's one you should own. Okay, because I'm a vintage guy, and even I would like this book in a 9-8, specifically because it's modern, right? You have General Ross, Hulk's oldest villain, as the Red Hulk. This movie was critically panned at screening. They had to go back with new actors, Giancarlo Esposito, Brought him in, hoping to uplift this already incredibly expensive movie. Will it make money? Probably not. I mean, who knows? But the trailer was great. San Diego Comic-Con had a whole lot of hype. And the sales are reflecting it because this book is down royally from when we heard that this was happening to begin with. The 9.0 is up 30%. The 9.2 up 23%. The 9.4 is up 31%. As it should be. And I'll tell you why. Because people are hoping to get the Hulk that they didn't get, which is a raging freaking bull of a character. That is what I'm excited to see. It's not my green Hulk, but it's a Hulk that's gonna look like it's gonna Hulk out. But let's check out the numbers, because a 9.6 sold for a year high of $222. That's up 66%. We also saw nine other copies sell above that average in a 9.6, and 10 outsell the average in a 9.8, with a high of $300, up 14%. We chatted about this book just last week. I will say, I think CGC turnaround time 
has taken a little bit of a hit since San Diego Comic-Con. A lot of books be coming in slow after a lot of activity from CGC over this last year. I've been getting books really quick. No new copies added to the census in the last week on this book. So I think there's a lot more coming. This next book is selling very aggressively, but I think that's happening with a lot of Doom books right now. And it's coming off of a very down market. So to be honest, I feel like some of these books are reaching back to points they should have been in the first place. So yes, maybe some of them might sound aggressive, but they could also really be fair for what was already an underappreciated book for a down market. So if you're considering to spec on this next one, you may want to hold tight and probably go to comictom101.com and join the mystery mail call because I'm sending out every single person an Adi Granov X-Men number one. That's Psylocke. That's magic. And you're going to get your copy if you join up. We also have a Kale New Wolverine one, an homage to the first ongoing series featuring the first appearance of Wolverine as Patch. Support what we do. Well, we tell you about another Doctor Doom book at the list at number five. The first time Doctor Doom battles the Avengers, we have Avengers number 25, Jack Kirby Goodness from 1966. This is a quasi-cool book for me, all right? Avengers Doomsday is obviously coming. Am I going to throw money into this? Probably not. I'd rather throw them into FF Doom covers because that's a larger history between FF and Doom. But other people feel different. We had 19 sales for a total of $7,600 on this book. People are loving it and are excited to see this. I gotta know what the community thinks in the comment section below because I agree with you. If I'm looking for Doom keys to spec on, it's gonna be vintage first. There's a lot of people buying modern books right now and I am not as bullish on that. However, an Avengers versus Doom key doesn't seem as appealing as just a stronger cover or a bigger moment for Dr. Doom. But let us know if you disagree. We're not even going to cover all the numbers. Peep key collector for that because there are so many sales. The 6.5 had four copies out due to the 12-month average for an increase of 30%, the highest being for $300. The 7.0 had a year-high sale, an increase of 23%. The 7.5 had a year-high sale, an increase of 18%. The 8.0 had a year-high, an increase of 76%. The 8.5 had a year-high for an increase of 41%. Do you see what's happening? The 9.0 sold for $750 for an increase of 22%. And we're not done. We have record-breaking sales. To discuss the 9.4 sold in October for 1680, but we saw a 7% increase with a sale of $1,800 on this book. Avengers Doomsday is currently set for May 1st, 2026. That's a long time, and in that time, I'll probably be looking for other Doom keys and FF titles and other classic better covers than this. Um, not to say this isn't cool and one you shouldn't have, but I'll probably be waiting to pick this up in around six to nine months from now for a little bit of a dip. What are some of the other FF keys or Doom covers that come to mind off the cuff? Outside the first three or four first appearances, I'd probably look at an FF 39 or a Daredevil 38. Those are two great covers, and there's just so many more. Like number four on the list with Fantastic Four Annual Number 2 from 1964. This is the Doom origin story. Jack Kirby and a thick book, white cover, so tough and high grade. This is an extremely coveted book by many, many collectors. It's an awesome Doom image. It's a early FF annual. And I get asked for this book all the time. Now, it's a ghost of a book in high grade because 9-4, there are only seven copies and eight nine sixes. The fact that there's eight nine sixes for a square bound book like this is crazy to me. Crazy as in like you're surprised how many there are? Yes, I'm shocked because those square bounds are notorious for spine splitting and being a white cover, it's known to have a lot of discoloration issues. And some lucky individual has the one 9-8 out there that has never come to market. This is how you know that collectors are trying to get any Dr. Doom keys they can get their hands on. Because we have two incomplete copies that broke records, that set records this past week. The point five with a missing back cover sold for $108. A point five with pages 22 and 23 missing sold for 130 There are so many sales. So you got a peep key collector if you really want to get into the weeds of it. But let's report on these. A 4.0 sold for 280 that's up 11%. A 5.5 is up 24% for 4.95. A 7.0 up 11% at 8.50. And the 8.0 sold 16% higher for $1,655. That's a year high 
to demonstrate the power of this Dr. Doom key, in 2019, you could have gotten a 9.6, one of the very few that exists, for $5,800. That was the sale. There's only one other 9.6 reported sale that happened publicly, and it happened in 2021. And it went from $5,800 to $36,000. Imagine if a 9.6 or a 9.8, that sole 9.8, hits the market. I mean, granted, the comic boom has changed a lot of things. Some comics are pretty volatile. What do you think would happen with a 9.6 in this market, Jeff? Uh, God, it's a great question. It's so tough to answer. I uh, hate that you're putting me in this position to answer it. If I had to say. Well, I kind of got him. He's typically really quick about this stuff. Yeah, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. It's such a, a random book because it's an annual, right? And it's a Doom coverage, origin story. And I get that. And people love it. It's so hard and high grade. I don't think it would go for more than 36000 I think it would still sell around 30000 or 20,000. <laughs> One of the two. That's what I guess. <laughs> All right, that's what he guesses. What do you think, Comic Fam? Well, we chat about number three on the list with New Mutants, issue number 98. The first appearance of Deadpool. This movie's breaking all kinds of records. People will be buying a lot of Deadpool, but there's also a lot of copies in 98 being added to the census every single day. A total of 31 sales outperformed the recent 12 month average this last week for a total of monies moved of 20 thousand dollars the excitement for this book is well deserved after an unbelievable movie okay and these are just internet sales i sold two sales during san diego comic-con alone so the private sales are going to be through the roof on this i've been telling the community to hold tight on this book i don't like what i'm seeing people are spending way too much money on this i'm going to prove it by the end of these numbers the 92 highest sale was for 423 dollars this past week an increase of 14 percent and four copies outsold the 12 month average the 94 is up 18 percent highest selling book went for 494 and three copies outsold the 12 month average the 96 sold for $700, an increase of 34% when you compare it to the recent 12-month average, and five copies outsold that 12-month average. The 9.8, someone paid $14.25, an increase of 9%, where this book has been selling comfortably around the $1,300 marker for a year, and three copies outsold that recent 12-month average. And here's a post from an Instagram seller selling New Mutants 98, at $999, I predicted that this would be a sub-$1,000 book at a 9.8 months ago. That increase in census count has clearly impacted the value of this comic book. Because it's one of the hottest books in the world, and it's down by upwards of 30-plus percent. We get it. You hate Deadpool. We all understand that. Okay? But it doesn't matter. This is an important book. All right? Now, this book at some point in its lifetime has sold for $3,000. Just this year, it sold for over $2,000. But guess what? This book swings so far, it actually sold for $1,000. Now, if you want to get into it, there is no rush. If you miss one today, guess what? There'll be another three tomorrow. All right? I say if you can pick this book up for $1,100 to $1,200 at some point, be happy with that. You have it in your collection, and it's an awesome book. And you even know what's even more awesome? The original artwork for this book is now for sale. That's right. $7.5 million. And is Heritage like just putting it up as a buy it now? It's a buy it now. So I don't know who owns it. I could probably dig and find out. But clearly, he's letting it go. If that sells, that's going to be a record-breaking piece for an original art sale. Let us know in the comment section below what you think about that while we move on to number two on the list. Courtesy of... Okay, sure, Deadpool Wolverine. But this cover has been touted as one of McFarlane's greatest covers of all time. Argue with me in the comment section below, because I don't know if that's true. However, we have at the list of number two, Incredible Hulk number 340. We have Wolverine with Hulk's reflection in the claws, and we see a very quick glimpse of this in Deadpool Wolverine. If you know, you know, this is a killer book already. But we're going to put this in the class of the X-Men 251 because it was shown on screen. Okay, so it's getting that little extra buzz. But this book is a fantastic Tom McFarlane cover. Everyone already knows it. Everyone already loves it. We had 15 sales for a total of $3,300 on this book. That's right. That's a whole lot of copies moving. 15 sales are not what we're going to be reporting on today. But Peep Key Collector for all of them. The 9-2 is up 35%. The Newsy 9-2 is up 24%. And the 9-4 sold for $290, an increase of 23%. And a 9-6 sold for $412, an increase of 21%. In the last two months, there's been an increase of 9.8s added to the census. I'm curious how this makes you feel of 14 
copies. Considering that there's 1166 copies in 98, it makes me feel horrible that I don't have one. <laughs> this book is constantly wanted. I couldn't have enough copies to feed the demand that is out there for this book. Also, consider this. The 12-month average on this book has been $1,060. The last GPA sale puts a 9.8 at $950. So the book is selling pretty aggressively, but there's such an increase in copies being added to the census that it's not necessarily affecting the price as much as what you would think a number two slot would have. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button, and please welcome Jeff to the Hot 10 in the comment section below. I want to see a flood of comments. And where can they find you? Because this weekend, you're doing something special. We're teaming up with the whole team. Oh, that's right. We're all getting together on Golden Age Guru on Instagram. We are going to be doing a live sale Saturday and Sunday starting at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time from Russ's shop, by the way. And we're all getting together to actually show you guys that we do more than a report on these books. We actually have our hands in them. We sell them. We buy them, we enjoy them. Hit the like and slap the subscribe button while we tell you about the number one hottest book in the world. Has never hit number one on the hot 10 in the four years that I've been covering this marketplace. Over $75,000 has traded hands virtually. Over 11 sales on a major Marvel blue chip book. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Fantastic Four number five, the first appearance of Dr. Doom from 1962 to the hot 10. This deserves to be at number one. Is this your favorite book on the list? By far, a no-brainer, favorite book on the list. Early FFs, extremely coveted and tough to find. I mean, we're getting Marvel's number one villain before we're getting the first appearance of Spider-Man. So if you don't have a copy of this book, I get it. It's expensive. But if you have an opportunity to get one, you should get one now. The opportunity to buy one should have been last year when this book dipped immensely. Yeah, this book was down pretty bad all last year. Yeah, and we're all going to look in two to three years how this dip in the market should have been a time to buy. And right now, this book is going to continue to escalate, maybe a little quickly now, but it'll slow down where you can grab one. But do it if you can. I highly recommend it. We got a .5 incomplete missing page 12 going for $2,850. And when you compare that to another comparable incomplete copy, that's up 35%. The page list is up nearly $1,000 in seven days. And the reason you're seeing some of these .5s with outback covers and missing pages is because of the eye appeal. Instead of getting an ugly .5 with missing pieces on the front cover, you're missing a back cover. So it looks great from the front, or it still looks good, but it's missing a page. The 1.8 sold for $3,700. That's a year-high sale for an increase of 7%. Three two O's outsold the recent 12-month average, the highest being a year-high for an increase of 16%, selling for $4,155. This is an expensive book, and there are a ton more sales to get to. The 2.5 sold for $5,099. That's another year-high sale for an increase of 16%. This book is moving quick. The 3 -0 had a massive drop, up 40% for a $7,500 sale. A 4 -0 sold for $7,499, up 6%. The 5 -0's up 38% with a $12,199 sale. And a 6 -0 sold for $11,700, up 14%. You heard that right. The 3 -0 sold for less than the 4 -0 did this past week. The 5 -0 sold for more than the 6 -0 this week. People can't keep up because this book is moving so damn quick. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We'll see you on Saturday on the Golden Age Guru's account. And as always, geek responsibly. Enough said. <laughs>